find liberation from a serpent's bite among these. You work so hard that you can't sleep nights among these. Baby, one. It's not the way I want to go. Not yet. God. Are you Gary Hamilton, Lieutenant Gary Hamilton? You, Gary Hamilton, have been pardoned. Everything will probably make sense if I read this. 
by the existence of an amendment which considers amnesty for political offenders and taking into consideration your past military merits. I therefore, on behalf of the President of the United States, hereby declare by virtue of the above mentioned amendment, your sentence commuted and order your immediate release. And so therefore, you are a free man. Hey, Johnny, let's go. How much? It's free. The guards are always in here. I'll make it up on those pigs, not the prisoners. No, a man must pay for everything. How long was you in for? Ten years. Let's get a move on. We got a long way to go. Come on. Yeah. Have a good trip. strange to come back to the heat and the dust of the South after spending so much time at West Point. You're a cadet? Another year, and then I'll be an officer. In the cavalry? Uh, yes. I must decide whether to pursue a military career or return and help my father. Which do you prefer? Uh, a wife, I guess, to run my life. If I had any choice at all, 
I'd get married and raise a family. Why don't you try doing just that? My father, he has a lot of plans for me, so I suppose I won't have much choice. Are you from these parts? Yes, my father is the owner of the Creighton Mine. My name is Dick Ackenbar. Did you say Ackenbar? Yes, ma'am. You know my father? Of course, I see him very often. We always meet at the Torton City Fair. But I never knew that he had a son so big, and I always thought he was a bachelor. And widower, I lost my mother when I was just five. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where you want to get off? You tell your father Gary Hamilton's back in town. And I'll see him at sundown. <laughs> oh, what'd you say your name was? Gary Hamilton. You a friend of my father's? Yeah! Who? this. Take it with you and give it back to him when he comes and visits your father. You're looking for rifle ammunition and a horse. Ah. Take it. That's all I got. Mm. Why, this is just ten bucks. The best I can give you for that is old Hurricane, son. But he's a good old horse. I've become kind of attached to him myself. <laughs> yep, one of these days, I won't be surprised to find his teeth are coming out like mine. <laughs> Animals, I guess, sometimes do look like their owners, just like Grandpappy said. <laughs> well, now, here's something special. <laughs> well, this here's faster than the Springfield. <laughs> yes, sir. You like it, son? <laughs> Always was good to you, and you were certain of finding me here somewhere, I reckon. And I'll bet you that you ain't even once given a thought that the old man could have been taken away by the devil. There are certain things in life that's useless to hope for.
Bullseye boy! He ain't been shook like that since the last tornado. Talking about them, my bones tell me we got one coming tonight. Yes, sir. A mighty good shooting. But now I won't know the direction of the wind. And what's more, be a good one. We ain't got much meat in our bones, you and me, so we better hide in time or it'll blow us away. What do you figure? How long we got? About sundown, imagine, son. The years pass by, Gary, and this old place remains godforsaken. You make out trying to build something, and then before you know it, along comes a tornado, and poof! Come on, horse. Come on. The only thing that stays at standing is your old house. Yeah, those Spaniards must have gotten their heads to build a fortress. Because I'll bet you that ain't no ordinary place. Is that going bar living there? Sure. The king and his wolves, that's him. And you know, he's not only got your darn home, but your harem, too. I reckon she's bad, that's all. I know I must feel. Well, I must say that every girl ain't like that, but some of them were that easy. <laughs> what are you planning to do, huh? Wait till that cloud gets here and then move into town. And between you and that tornado, I can borrow and be having yourself a pretty hot night. Wounded. 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 Well, this is the way you make your enemies. This way, you can have all the power. That's exactly what I want from my son, Dick. Hey, Jim! Hey, Jim! Hey, <laughs> hey Rosie, look what just happened. This one is so lovesick, he carries his bed along with him. <laughs> Hurry up, Joe. We need two more. You're expecting an orgy tonight? <laughs> Come on, Joe. We haven't got time to be wasting. Oh, it's my idea to protect the bottles. We cover them. We cover them so that when the tornado comes... The saloon may blow away, but the booze will be safe. <laughs> you got a brain in your head. <laughs> you know it too. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Good to see you, brothers. There with your father and they're waiting for us out at the ranch. Let's go. The buckboard's over there. Howdy, Dick. Hi, in my bags. Pete'll get the bum off. Well, goodbye. Hope to see you again. If you come to the fair with your father, please stop by and pay us a call. Goodbye, Mr. Ackenbar. Ma'am. Ah, new conquest, eh? If it's serious, you let me know when, and me and my brothers will give you the best kidnapping job you've seen. <laughs> yeah.
we'll help him by paving the way. This will be a rather rapid political career. He will be elected senator. And with my money and power, it should be easy for him to become... governor of the state. And then... President of the United States. Dick. Dick. You look good, son. Glad to be home? Sure am. It's been a long time. Sure makes me feel good to see you, son. Sure makes me feel good to see you, Dad. Attention! The army of Santa Maria is at your orders, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the three musketeers. Well, maybe someday I can be your d'Artagnan. Mm -hmm. Where's Mary? Inside. She'll be real happy at home. Come along. Juanito! <laughs> Welcome home, Chico. I'm so happy to see you. Mary had the best room in the house prepared for you. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Dick. Thank you, Frank. Come on up and have a drink. Fine in your uniform. That may be so. But I imagine he's dying to get it off and take a hot bath. Isn't that right? You said it, Dad. The air's too still. Tornado weather, huh? It'll get worse, unfortunately. That's the way it always is before a tornado. Remember the one two years ago? Well, the old folks say that tonight's will be even worse. Well, what are you waiting for? You came up for a drink, didn't you? Go on, charge. We will, sir. <laughs> what do you have, son? Nothing just now, thanks, Dad. After my bath. Fine. Major Akinbar, I'll go up with you. Right. Oh, Dad. I almost forgot. A stranger got off at the crossing, said he would said he would be be paying a visit here at sundown. I think he's a friend of yours. Go on. His name is... Here you are, sir. Your health. Oh, yes. Gary Hamilton. What is that? Birds of prey fleeing from the tornado. Animals sense trouble and avoid it. He left this on the stage. Would you give it back to him when he gets here? Are you coming? Certainly, Dick. Yes. Let's go. It is all right. I remember it well. We put it on the stagecoach as evidence against him. Shut up! I don't want this story mentioned in my house. If he really is coming, we'll wait for him. And we'll make sure he doesn't get in here alive. It's in your interest as well. And remember, my son mustn't know anything about this. 
And he won't know. You can count on it, sir. Get the men together and meet me outside of town. He was in for life. Do you think he escaped? There won't be any way of knowing. After he's dead. And if anything should happen? I want him dead. Did you hear that, Miguel? Stop him. Once and for all. <laughs> ghost returning and he'll have he'll have only one desire in his heart only one thirst revenge are you worried no but your son must have suspected that i was he asked me if i knew gary hamilton and what did you say i told him that i didn't know him that i never heard the name before but then, maybe that's the truth. I really didn't get the time to get to know him. I only had the time to betray him. Let's keep it that way. You didn't know him. Get it? Dick must never know. Anyway, Hamilton will never get in here alive. Cummins gonna get a rowdy welcome. What do you say, Judge? Bet your life. And you better stay indoors. No peeking out the windows. There's going to be lots of dangerous lead a blowing. A blowing in the breeze tonight. Annie, no. Oh, no, little one. No, no, no. Wait. Uncle Jonathan can't see a damn thing. If you take these away. In the house now. Go the wind's on, almost here. And you make sure they go to bed, Sue. You better stay inside, too. I wouldn't be surprised if Akambar doesn't try to scare that wind away.
Follow me and keep close. Let's get back to town before we end up shooting it out amongst ourselves. Vamos! You go with your men to the front of the ranch. If we don't find him here first, then he will go there for sure. Right. Underlay. The true Akinbar is offering a reward? See, si, a big one. But we've got to catch him first. business, old man. Now go back in your house. Stay put, too.
Why tonight? What is he ringing the bell tonight for? Can be the minister. I saw him tie up that bell and bar the front door up. Somebody else must have untied it. I'm ready for that drink now. Well, in two duds like that, I hardly recognize you. <laughs> What's going on tonight? Well, must be the wind. Bell got untied. What about the gunfire? Huh? Oh, probably just some drunk trying to scare the tornado away. Yeah, it's drink to your return. And would you like to try some of this? No.
who rang the bell? It must have been Hamilton. It was not a ghost. I'll warn Akumbar. I'll stick around here. I killed him, father. Father? What am I doing calling you father? And what am I doing talking to a man who believes in a forgiving God? I want you to know that Gary Hamilton has got a life sentence ingrained in his skin. Day after day, they convinced me that my place was inside. Life outside has no more meaning for me. Now it's only revenge. That takes care of one of them. Now when I finished with the rest of the Santa Maria's, I can bar himself. I've had ten long years to think out my revenge. If innocence is repaid with prison, then I've earned the right to kill. Do you hear me, Father? Even if God chooses to punish me for it. Yes, he got in somehow. And then... He killed him! Don't tell me you allowed yourself to be tricked by one man. You got more than 30 men. You got to find him. Who was ringing the church bell? Maybe him. Dad, you're not too busy. Dinner's ready. Huh? Well, I'll be right there. Dad, it sounds like there are many drunks out tonight.
Would you like some more? you'd come here. That's why I took the rock off the well for you. You see, when you disappeared off of that, that horse, well, I figured you went underground to the, to the old Indian cemetery. We spent a lot of time down there when I was a kid. <laughs> you know, things just ain't ever been the same since you got put away. About the only person that that's kept her head high has been Rosie. The rest are scared of Akambar. She's had to pay dearly. They shot and killed Johnny, uh, her husband, and they called it a, an accident. And the judge? The judge, one of the first, they could buy. What happened to your leg? That was a present from Francisco Santa Maria. An accident? What else? If I wanted to stay alive, it was an accident. Now, what about you? Long rest. Lots of snakes. Get on over the saloon. You'll be a lot safer. down on the floor. They say you were a doctor. Well, maybe you can do something. I would not like him to die. Zizka, he was an Hamilton. He was a monster. Uh, from hell! Uh. Pedro! Pedro! You 
mustn't die. No. And now I will take care of Hamilton. Give me some whiskey for my men. They need it. They think there is a monster. I say there is not. It is one miserable man. I wish to meet him face to face. Go find him. Pass these out to the men. And pass the order to the rest of them to meet me in front of the ranch. Who would you leave one for me? Oh. Oh. Want to be paid? Don't tell me you're afraid that Akambar don't have enough money to pay for a few stinking bottles. You can leave this one behind. It's raspberry syrup. Yeah, okay. Raspberry syrup isn't what we... <laughs> need. I hope it's really Gary. This way, at least, he'll have to fight with one less, even if they shoot me for it. What does Gary Hamilton want from you?
Preacher, who rang the bell? We get, we get. Was it? I want an answer. Miguel, please, Miguel. <laughs> Chico!
Unfasten it. Then let it come on down. to the ranch. I was looking for you, Hamilton. Why this mass killing? Why do you hate my father so much? You want to kill him, don't you? Yes. I don't intend to attack you. I'm unarmed. I came because I want to know the truth. I have to know the truth. 
Gary! At last. I couldn't just stay here like you said. I want to help you. Now, this weapon's a mite old, but even if it is, it still works good enough. <gasps> it's only Akumbar's son. He wants to know the truth about his father. You think you can take it? I'll tell you the whole story. You want to hear it? Yes, I must hear it. Dick! You see my son? Where's Dick? Isn't he with you? He went out after you. He followed you out. You idiot. You should have stopped him. You know better than that. You should have stopped him. You'll pay for it if something happens to him. Frank, go find yourself a gun. Get rid of that. Listen, Gary. It's better if you don't stay here for long. Why'd you go into town? I wanted to meet up with Gary Hamilton. Must be waiting for you at the ranch. Listen, Gary, I, I don't understand you. And if you want to know the truth, I think you've gone right out of your mind. What do you mean? I wouldn't have wasted a minute explaining to that young scoundrel like you did. You don't know that he's any better than his father, do you? You have children. You know that our, our fault shouldn't fall on them. Gary. Mary's there with him in the house. I know. Thanks. 
I have this. This here's a showdown. Good luck. Look around. Yeah. Take a good look for yourself. See this? All of this? <laughs> this is what Gary Hamilton wants. It's yours. It's yours, son. Or would you prefer to... live in a dung heap, like I did when I was a boy? Well? I'll tell you. You wouldn't like it, boy. And don't tell me you don't like the life I've offered you so far. I don't think like you. What? What do you mean? That you refuse all this? I spoke with him. I know the truth. What do you know about truth? The truth! This is the truth! We'll have a better chance if we split up. I hope you make it. Good luck. Jonathan! Everything like what? Everything there is to know. That the war wasn't over when you attacked that stagecoach carrying gold to the Confederates. You and the Santa Maria brothers, and you managed to put the blame on him by planting some evidence on the stage. But then, he had a perfect alibi. That night, he was here. He was here with Mary. But you, you convinced Mary to betray him. She lied, and he paid. Now I know why he wants you dead. The only thing that's sure is that we must kill him before he kills you. Even if it means that I must become a murderer like you, Dad, and kill an innocent man.
Forgive me. Can't you forgive me after all these years? I was frightened, you must know that. He threatened to kill me if I once opened my mouth. You don't know what a bastard he is to me. I'm just some kind of a whore. All these years, I didn't forget you. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, Gary. There's only been you, he was nothing. <laughs> Take me to him.
Can't you come on out and fight like a man? Dig under the ruins and you'll find more than enough to rebuild your town.
judge You'll face the judge And he won't be face the judge and he won't be nuts.